Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel Tor or Spin. This discussion is about Joseph Conrad who contributed to modernism. You know modernism as a literary movement or a period and uh, some of the critics they are of the view that uh, this can also be termed as the heroic age of English novel. So in fact uh, Joseph Conrad is a true representative of the heroic age of English novel or modern period. The other members of this age or heroic age they were E.M. Foster, Virginia Woolf, D.H. Lawrence, Henry James and James Joyce and of course Joseph Conrad as well. The focus of Joseph Conrad was democratic norms, the impact of scientific development, fatal weapons of war and colonialism. Joseph Conrad, he broke away from the dominant paradigms of the Victorianism and highlighted social destruction and political confrontation in his works. Now, the rest of the discussion is about the topic Joseph Conrad as a modernist, a critical approach. As a modernist, Conrad has a unique style. In his Tales of the Sea, the naval tradition is identified with his concept of moral system, social collaborations, firmly established code of duties and responsibilities, personal identity, social distinctions and social hierarchies. Conrad was born on December 3, 1857 in the Russian ruled province of Pedolia the first and the only child of Apollo and Evelina. His father, Apollo, had two interests in his life. Politics or political discussion and writings. In 1861, the family moved to Warsaw and their home became a meeting place for political activities for the cause of Polish nationalism. Their house was raided by Russian police and Apollo was arrested and thus the family was sent into exile. As far as his professional career is concerned, so his career can be classified into two phases or stages. Career as a sailor, that is from 1875 to 1894. And then career as a writer, which began in 1894 up to 1924. The years of 18 97 to 1911, uh, during this period or during this time, the nigger of the Narciss, 1897, Heart of Darkness, 1899, Lord Jim, 1900, Nostromo, 1904, and Under Western Eyes, 1911, they were created and they can be considered as the masterpieces of Joseph Conrad. 
the second phase or the second period uh, it begins from the period of 1911 and it goes up to 1918 and here he created his novels like chance in 1912 victory in 1915 and the shadow line in 1916 the last phase or the last period of his creative career he created the novels which were quite lengthy and they were resembled old fashion tales of love and adventure so we can say that here his creativity it became a bit tarnished uh, his novels like the arrow of gold 1919 the rescue 1920 and the rovers they were created or they were published during this period his last unfinished novel suspense it was published in 1925 after his death as far as his uh, literary contribution is concerned so it can be divided into three different categories that is sea novels jungle novels and political novels his link with english readers is only through his creativity uh he was a multi linguist polish was his mother tongue or his first language french was his second language and in 1889 at the age of 31 conrad decided to settle in london and became a british citizen his great interest in various languages and the employment or the use of words from other languages is also reflected in his creativity such languages as french germans and malay they are some of the languages from where he uh, takes words and accommodates them in his creative works the subjects of modernisms discussed by conrad can be classified as horrors of war famines and genocide conrad has linked these themes with the nature of the honor the responsibility of privilege and the need for forgiveness similarly conrad takes up the question of social corruption and its consequences personal identity social responsibility moral values the power of friendship and the bond and boundary between self and community these are some of the focal questions which are addressed in his novels majority of his novels are about sea life they can be linked with the experience of his personal life however they give a monotonous approach and singing the songs of captains and the sea in his novels personal experiences and hardships have a value for him he argues that a novel reflects the personal experiences of a novelist and that's why his personal experiences and observations are reflected in his novels 
linking sea life with social and psychological issues is the point of his creativity for conrad psychological freedom is possible only for a developed self a strong sense of self is a prerequisites for a meaningful relationship in life he learns a lot in his life from experiences his life story is itself reflects fictional glimpses conrad is the first novelist who conceived and highlighted the problems of colonialism he writes about the african people and then generalizes the problems of colonial issues of hybridity during this time he created his narrator charlie marlow as a representative of his views and criticism marlow as a character is present in his novels youth heart of darkness chance and lord jim as far as his style is concerned so his style is quite vague and ambiguous he never tells us things directly and clearly and this is also the point of great critic edward said joseph conrad guards himself behind ironies and politeness and does not share his private life with the readers and thus he implies figures of speech for his expression his focus is on the changes in the inner lives of the individuals in the social structure his novels are received well and read with enthusiasm and before his death in 1924 he had won a place among the great english novelists of his time now coming to his critics so there are so many but the prominent among them is chenwa achebe chenwa achebe considered him a bloody racist and sexist and he argues that charlie marlow the narrator of the novel heart of darkness is mere the mouthpiece of conrad and conrad degrades the other nations their history their culture their language geography and other aspects of a nation particularly the african nations are the congolese achebe challenges the point of view of conrad through his creative and critical writes up on the creative front his novel things fall apart which was written or published in 1958 is a response or a counter narrative to heart of darkness uh, similarly his lecture of 1975 and his research paper of 1978 with the title an image of africa racism in conrad's heart of darkness is his creative approach towards joseph conrad and heart of darkness uh in the light of the criticism of chenwa achebe there are two groups of critics emerged one group can be the defenders and the other the condemners those who raise the question of racism in the works of conrad are chenwa achebe 
एडवर्ड सईद मुख्तार चौधरी एंड जेम्स जॉनसन दोज वो पुट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन हिज डिफेंस सो दे आर ब्रेन पिटलिस बेनेता पेरी एंड इन वॉट विद आर्नल्ड कैटल एंड टॉम हिन द हिस्टोरिकल पोस्पेक्टिव एंड पोलिटिकल हेजमनी ऑफ यूरोपियन नेशंस शुड बी कंसिडर्ड वेन वी आर टेकिंग द क्रिटिसिजम अबाउट कलोनलिज्म एंड हिज वर्क दिस वॉज अ ब्रीफ आर स्लाइट introduction about the works of joseph conrad and how he contributed to modernism or modern movement now as a conclusion we can summarize this discussion as in the mid 60s the negritude movement united the masses living in africa on the basis of common origin and ancestry chenwa achebe remain part of the pan africanism or the negritude movement and his views can be judged in the political perspective of that period so we can conclude that the creativity of conrad about modernisms they were or they are personal identity social responsibility and moral values with the addition of social distinctions and social hierarchies as a modernist conrad depicts these features in the light of personal observations and personal experiences uh thank you very much for your kind attention and we will keep continue this discussion about the works of joseph conrad and how they contributed to modernism and there we will discuss his various novels just like heart of darkness lord jim and the rest of the works once again i'm extremely grateful to all of you